what is up guys and welcome to another great episode of Bront. And today we're going to be playing an awesome little detective game called The Detail, Episode 1, Where the Dead Lie. This game revolves around an old detective, he's having quite a hard time coming to terms with all the weird things that he's seen and everything, but I won't give too much away, this will be very interesting. It is a comic book style game, so let's just play this. Alright, just another murder investigation. Boy, I'm already liking it. it. Sounds strange, but to me, that's all the that's all they are now. All right, so he's lost touch with compassion and regular passion. <laughs> now he just kind of sees him as what it is. Just another murder investigation until somebody you know gets killed. That's when things get personal. When they hit home. All right, <laughs> this is sweet. It's just like a comic book. That's when you start asking if you could have done something different, chose different. And you'll keep on asking. You'll play out all those scenarios in your head only to find you could have gone the another path. Oh shit, man. This guy's really getting deep. But you probably wouldn't have. No, because we make the choices that we make. We make them because we wanted to. Not because of fate or anything. But because of who you are. And that never changes. It can change, guy. You can change yourself. It's just... It's very hard to tell if you're actually changing. <laughs> Alright. Border update. What is this? Okay, we gotta flip the page. That's awesome. Look at this, guys. Alright, flip the page, brother. I wonder if this was a comic book in the first place, or if it's just always been a game. Uh, 2 Adam 7 to dispatch. 10, 1097 arrived at the scene. 2 Adam 7, roger that. 1059, proceed with security check. Alright, so we're going to a crime scene then. Let's go. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Yes, sir. Here we go, on our way. I wonder what it's going to be. Remember, Kate, we are only here to check out a known child molester. Ah! Oh my god, we're checking out a child molester? This could get very dark, guys, I warn you. Seriously, it looks like it may be turning. Oh boy, why is it getting all red? What are we going to find? Jesus! Um, arrow to kick in the door. Press and hold inside rotating circle to attempt picking the lock. Uh, want me to kick it in? No, buddy. We're gonna try to get this. All right, all right, one more. Oh shit, oh shit. We're messing it up. No! Kick the damn door, son of a bitch. Come on, man. Oh, I don't think I got it fast enough. Shit! All right, now we did. All right, so we at least kicked the door down. All right. Now we'll know we're coming. Keep your eyes open. Remember to check every corner. Roger that. Damn, guys, this is getting intense. What the hell is going to happen next? All right, so let's check out this room real fast. Go, 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 officers in. Um, all right, nobody's in here. Get the hell out, clear. All right, get to the next room. We're wasting time here, buddy. We got to get there, guys. We got to get there. This is a child's life at stake. Oh, shit, that light's on. We probably should have checked this one. This one's clear, ain't it? Damn it, man. Clear. All right, get to the next room. Hurry. Don't let him do what I think he's gonna do. Please let the child be all right. Ah! Oh my God! All right, come on, get in there then. Quit freezing game, we don't have time for that. <laughs> all right, there. Oh, poor child, why is she in the corner? Got eyes on the girl. No signs of the suspect. He's gotten away, obviously. Or he's gonna crack one of us, don't. Oh shit, he's right behind you! Lieutenant, come on! Get out of the way! Crack! SPAM! Oh shit, this is sweet. Um, uh, block! Block it! There you go, you blocked. And then what? Oh fuck, did we mess it up? He's got her in a pretty good hole there, guys. Crash! Oh shit, through the glass table. No! He's choking her to death. Hurry up, beat him to death. Uh, let's blind him. Yes! We have to do it. We have to stick a thumb in his eyes, guys. It's the only way. All right, now we grab this board or whatever it is. We just freaking glob him on that. Jump! I like the sound effects in this, and I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this, too. This is actually pretty sweet. I mean, I love the comic bookness to it. Um, Board updated. New character. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. I'll live. Okay, so everybody's all right, and we knocked out the child molester. He has one less eye. But I have a feeling he deserves it. <laughs> All right, so what's going on now? This asshole really put up a fight. That patrol will find that patrol will find you, and after being cleared by medical, 
Yeah, so I heard. Just stick him into the interrogation. Alright, so I feel like that guy needs a deeper voice or something. Um, where are they? Hold the setup auto forward speed. Auto? No, I don't want the auto on. Alright, where are they? Who? I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Don't play, don't play me, motherfucker. We just found you standing by over a little girl. Now where are the others? What girl? Seriously? What is that all about? Oh, don't try the fucking pull this shit with us, you slimy pizza. This is getting us nowhere, Tyrone. Let me handle this. Um, let's pressure him. Look, dipshit. I have two officers placing you at the scene. They literally caught you with your dick in your hand. Holy shit, man. They must have bad eyesight or, or maybe they're lying. I don't think so. Um, let's intimidate him. Don't want to get too far in this. We'll end up on YouTube or something. <laughs> We're giving you a chance to come to clean, rape and murder. You're looking at the gas chamber, son. Unless you tell us right now where the third girl is, last chance. No, I'm looking at two pathetic cops throwing a wild accusations without any proof to back them up. Bullshit, dude, he found the girl right in your room. Ah, why don't you just give me up already? Shouldn't, shouldn't, I have a, shouldn't I have a lawyer with me or something? No, you bitch. You, you could have called one, but you think so, huh? Uh, let's just keep pressuring him. Look here, you fucking slime ball. There's no way in hell this sends well for you. Hell no, it doesn't. All right, um, let's provoke him a little bit. Even you've probably figured out by now that you're never going to see the light of day again. Or smell the fresh morning air. Yet you've got things to look forward to. Like getting to know the other guys in the joint. I hear they have a real sweet spot for rapists. Oh yeah, you're going to get sent to a goddamn rape cage is where you're going to be sent. Fuck you, pigs. Where the hell is my lawyer? Um, offer deal, sure. Okay, I'll tell you what. Lean, high security, life in supermax, hell yeah. <laughs> Scum like you don't deserve to live, but I'm willing to make an exception due to the circumstances. Tell me where the girl is, and I'll let you live the rest of your life in a maximum security prison. You've got to be joking. You can stick that deal up your ass. I want my lawyer. Fuck this, guys, guys. I'm sorry for all the swearing, but it's in the game, and also I tend to swear a lot myself. <laughs> I don't want to, but it just kind of happens. All right, um, high security. How about, yeah, high security. We ain't getting no latent fucking thing. Are you kidding me? High security prison is your best hope. You'll avoid the kneel and might even get a chance for some nice male bonding. Oh, boy. <laughs> you can look forward to that. I <laughs> don't think so, though. Just tell me where the girl is, man. Pass. I think you can do better than that. I mean, you've got nothing on me. Son of a bitch. All right, we're going to wait for his lawyer. I am not going to provoke him, mess up the case, and I'm not giving a latent fucking trial. Hell no, this dude ain't just going to jail for a few years. I guess we just wait for the scumbag lawyer then. All right, who's going to come in here? Saul? Saul Goodman? Saul Goodman, where are you, man? <laughs> Rival Games presents... What's it presenting to us? This game is getting so interesting, guys. I love it. This is freaking awesome. I mean, look at all this. All right, everything's in color now. Everything is amazing. We got a bowling night's place there, and we got this other place. Oh well, yeah, quick take a, quick take a good look, and then I will meet you guys where the gameplay is, so we don't waste too much time. Well, not wasting time. It is good. If you like the comic book and stuff, you should go figure out everybody involved in this game. But yeah, I don't want to waste too much time. So, take a good look, and I'll meet you at the game. Ah. Alright, guys. We are now back into the game, and we are looking at a newspaper. The Daily Tribune. Miscarriage of... Oh, wait. Miscarriage of Justice. Lost girl found molester given minimal sentence exchange for plea bargain. Are you fucking kidding me? I did not even give him a plea g bargain. I mean, I, damn lawyer, man. Why? Okay. Get, get, get this out of the way. Oh, shit. Somebody's right behind there. Interesting. Board updated. New character. God damn it. Oh, so are we on a date? What's the matter, Reggie? I, I'm gonna try to do a Boston accent for this chick. <laughs> it's just this job, Molly. It gets to me. All day at the office then, huh? You guys let me know what you think of the accent. <laughs> I'm not trying to offend anybody either, so... So, just, just deal it. Hard year, more like it. How's that? How's the back? Ah, uh, worse than the job. I don't go away at, re at retirement. You know, I, you know, I could give you the number of the fantastic massage therapist. Uh, I thought you were my massage therapist. Um, oh, you know what I mean. 
thanks, Molly, but I got it under control. With those pills, you mean? You've been talking to those since I've known you. They aren't free either, are they? Uh, look, I tried that, ma that massage stuff. It didn't do anything for me. Can we talk about something else now? All right, Reggie, but you need to buy me that drink now. I'm starting to get the stink eye from the Caesar. Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to get this guy. Oh, Tyron. Tyrone's calling. Oh, God damn it. Hold on. Um, don't answer. We won't answer. Who was it? Don't worry about it. So anyway, I don't know why the hell I'm out here some nights when the courts just let, the, let these guys off easy anyway. It's, uh, it's how the system was set up. It's a setup, all right. Uh, damn you, Tyrone. I'm on a date, man. Leave me alone. Someone out there must really miss you. Doubt it. They just need someone to yell at again. Now, who, now who wouldn't miss a charmer like you, hmm? Um, oh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, we are quite a charmer with our fucking mustache and our gleaming bald head. You bet your ass it shines in the sunlight. <laughs> Tell me about the time you talked to that guy off a ledge, huh? You like the old stories, don't you, Ma? I love ancient history. Ha ha ha. Sigh. Hello, Tyrone. Damn it, so I guess we have to. Ma'am, Reggie was really need to get going. Oh, damn, he showed up at my date. You goddamn cock blocker. <laughs> okay, Molly, I might be back later. I'm... I'll be right here, Reg. You go get them. You better have some coffee, Ty. Got some in the car. You're a saint. <laughs> okay, so we're heading to a crime place. I'm not sure what's even going on here. He just came to my date. Picked us up and forced us out. Oh, look, we are red and blue in the night. <laughs> All right, so where are we at now? Are we going to be at an interesting crime scene? I'm hoping so. I better take this. See what the lieutenant wants. Ring, ring, ring. Right, I'll check out the body in the meantime. All right, so let's see what the lieutenant wants. Oh, we're walking to the side of the comic book. <laughs> There's nothing there. Detective Moore. Reggie, you at the scene yet? Yeah, just got here. How, how bad is it? It's goddamn mess, Kirk. Looks like word got out already. The locals are swarming the place. And, of course, the press is here, ready to smear it all over the front page. Damn it! Last thing this apartment needs is another PR nightmare. Not now. No shit. Guess I'd better get out with the job, then. Uh, not like I had in those other plans, anyways. Reggie, listen. We need to call us someone fast. Got a lot of heat coming from the deputy chief on this one. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. I'll get on it. Alright, so... Now what? We check out the body? I guess... We just check out the body? <laughs> Can I just click where I need to go? All right, we'll click these guys. Uni to serve and protect. Uh, I wonder, does somebody still believe in that? Yeah, I think so. I would think so. I mean, there's got to be some good cops left. You can't just have all bad ones. Because I sure as hell don't. All right, so let's go to the crime scene then. Check out what's going on here. You got a dead body. All right, Tyrone. Let me know how the body is, man. All right, so... Uh, used to be brought fear in order to the streets when we were old now. Now, though. Um. Okay. Satan, let's check out this goddamn graffiti, you damn kids. Why? Satan has you charming. Huh. Damn you, Satan. We don't, we don't need your, we don't need your stories in here. Mike used to be a crime tech, but then the city made budget cuts. Now serves as an out overburned coroner and investigator. Has been dealing with this shit ever, even longer than me. All right, guys. I'm sorry, my I'm having a little trouble reading this. All it's just the uh, the font style is kind of messing with my eyes. I don't know why, but let's check out this body. What's going on here, man? What's going on here? All right, so we gotta check out body. What have we got here? Male Caucasian, late 50s. One bolt hole in the back of the head with substantial GSR around it. Exit wound through the lower face. Right. I guess that rules out suicide. So what was he? Shot kneeling, then? If it went through the back of his head and out through the bottom of his face. Anything else on the victim? He's also got a broken wrist on GSR and on his right hand. Gunshot residue, eh? That's weird. Don't see any other guns around here. Uh, the thought crossed my mind, too. Alright, guys. I like this guy. I really do. He's kind of... It's cool. I like the style of this game as well. Alright, so what is in here? Oh, shit. It's drugs. What the? What is it? Heroin? Weed? Looks like uh, at least a kilo of coke. Oh my god, it's cocaine, man! <laughs> at least. Uh, that's a small fortune right there. I wonder why they left it. Beats me. Alright, so obviously they did not want the cocaine. What the hell? Did he find something? Picture of a girl. She looks like she's barely out of grade school. Jesus Christ. It's a sick world. Let me bag that for you. Alright, well, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. 
So can we get out of here now? All right, so what? We checked that one. Let's check out his leg. What's that on his ankle? Dogs. Dogs? What are you talking about, dogs, man? Yeah, dogs. It's in dog bites. A couple hours ago, someone's best friend was ripped, was ripping flesh off their own victim here. Oh, my God. That's sick, man. That's sick. <laughs> okay, uh, what about this one? Bullet casings. Number of shells. Even before you ask, it's too early to say if the amount of shells is accurate. It just needs something to go on. Well, the amount of shells matches the bullet wounds, but we haven't searched the surroundings yet. All right, keep me informed. Uh, match the gun? Do the shells match the gun? From the looks of it, but you'll get the confirmation when the ballistics report comes back. Alright, so we got ballistic reports. This is all very real er, crime scene like. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, let's check for prints. Can we get fingerprints from the shell castings? Maybe. I don't know. I just do the tagging and bagging. Come on, man. You shouldn't. You're a cop. You should know how to get some goddamn, some goddamn fingerprints. <laughs> Alright, let's check out this gun. It's got a little bit of blood on the tip, splatter. That's a lot of gore there. Hell yeah, it is, buddy. Yep, the barrel's covered in brain tissue. Sick, man. That's disgusting. <laughs> Serial number seems to be ripped off. Uh, yeah, I don't think the gun is in the registry. Really? Really? All right. How about the fingerprints? Any identification yet? I'm guessing the guy. Preliminary results show only prints from the victim. What? <laughs> only from the victim? So he must have the gun in the first place then. Okay, so we're missing five bullets then? How many rounds are missing from the magazine? Two rounds. Same as the number of shells found then. Um, okay, so we're missing bullets though. If the middle mark's ten. Oh shit, I thought I exited out the game for a minute. <laughs> Alright, so that... That's everything, ain't it? Right? I thought... Okay, no, we, we got everything. So... Can we wrap this up then? Mike used to be a... Oh, God damn it! I don't even know your goddamn story again, Mike. I know it. I know it. All right, let's go talk to Tyrone. SWAT team. Oh, look at that. I give props to the designers of this game. Tyrone, he used to be the first through the door. Then he got old. Now look at him. He looks like a... A black breaking ball... Or bre black breaking bad. Seriously, he does. He looks like Walter. <laughs> he just needs a bowler cap. He really does. All right, get, get out of here. We just... I need to talk to him. We need to talk to him. Oh, it's a point-click game at was as well. Interesting. I love it. All right, get get a get a Tyrone. Oh, okay, we gotta scroll down on some stuff. I got the preliminary here, Reg. You or er, Reg? You won't want to look around some more. Or start figuring things out. Um, give me a sec. Not done looking quite yet. Let me know when you're ready. All right, we're just gonna quick check this whatever it is footprints here shoe prints eh the rain has done a number on him though son of a bitch what's this condom why is there just a condom over here a condom used i awesome awesome <laughs> that's great man that's wonderful i guess i mean just just finding used condoms under bridgeways and train tracks you the usual detective any word on what's happened uh i don't want to talk to her yet really Let's quick talk to the police officers, see what's going on here. All right, buddy. All right. <laughs> Looks like we've got quite the crowd here. Tell me about it, sir. Guess the victim is a real big shot, huh? Was now he's just headlined. What do you need, detective? Um, day shift, make a rest. Uh, to catch the son of a bitch who's spoiling the lovely night. Oh, so these are the people who actually caught the other guy. Sounds good to me, Reg. Anything else? Uh, eyewitnesses. You canvassed the area for witnesses? Anyone hang around here? Sure did. Came up with nada, though. Some some kids run through here at times, but that's about it. Nothing else? Nope. Check in with the coroner, though. You might have something. All right, guys. Let's let's just leave this place. I think we've pretty much got everything from now. Really, I just got lucky with that sicko, sir. Don't be too modest, Kate. You did good. Really showed everybody you got some guts. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode right here before it gets too long for you guys, but thank you so much for watching this new series with us. I will have the next episode right, well, probably tomorrow after, yeah, after you guys have actually watched this one a little bit. <laughs> but there will be plenty of other videos up in the meantime, but like again, thank you so much for watching this. I hope you watch some more, and like always from Michigan, have yourself a great day, and stay tuned. It's going to be down here. Don't jump at me. Oh, uh, what? 
Oh my god! <laughs> There's only enough food for one, so she's